Oh, it's good to see you after the holiday. I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot. And this is Wednesday. It is July 5th. Tomorrow being Thursday, I've got my live streaming event. Me and my co-host, we do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. When the market bell is going off, we're going on. We're there for about an hour talking live to other investors about stocks they're interested in. So if you got a ticker you want us to take a look at or you've got a hot stock you'd just like to share, hint, hint, bring it on in. Drop it in the comment box. We'll go through the information in the charts and we'll give you our opinion on it, whatever that's worth. However, we're only there for an hour and we're barely covering all the tickers we're seeing right now. So get your ticker in early. Matter of fact, I do put up a placeholder for the video early so you can drop your ticker in there before 4 o'clock. When I get there, it'll be waiting for me and be one of the first tickers we cover. Remember, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So what do we do on this show? Well, we like to look for OTC and penny stocks that have potential to make us money. In other words, I'm looking for stocks under 5 bucks on any market. Now, when I do my research looking for these hot stocks, I primarily go to the charts first. I'm looking for charts that have heat, then I go looking for the catalyst to keep that chart moving, not the other way around. Well, I just happened to stumble across this stock while I was doing my research and due diligence over the holiday. <laughs> That's how I like to spend my time, but at least I share it with you. This is NMTC Neural One Medical Technologies. Now, as you've probably already guessed, they're in the health sector, but they are not a pharmaceutical company. Yes. The great thing about that is pharmaceutical companies' products take a long time to get to market. They've got to get through all those phase trials, four to eight years. Then they get distribution going. This company's working with medical devices. They get approved by the FDA a lot quicker. And the two markets are completely different. Medications, they're targeting the consumers. Medical devices are targeting business organizations who have money to spend on their products. Now, the chart, it's warm. I'm not going to say it's a hot chart, but it's got a soft breakout happening right now. And if things turn right, it could be sweet. But I like this for a longer hold. Right now, they're getting FDA approval and FDA submissions for their two technologies. So now is a real good time to consider this company. NMTC, she finished the day at $1.16 with almost 1% gains. She is on the NASDAQ. She's free to trade. You can trade her pre-market, after-market, lots of benefits with these penny stocks on the major exchanges. So what is this company about? Well, we've got a brief description here and I do want to give you more. Our mission is to provide comprehensive EEG brainwave recordings, brain stimulation and ablation solutions for patients suffering from epilepsy, Parkinson's, essential tremors, chronic back pain and other related neurological disorders that may improve patient outcomes and have cost reductions. And to get more information about exactly what it is they do, let's just jump on over to their website. We've jumped on over here to NeuroOne's website. They name it after their ticker, nmtc1.com. Now what's most interesting about this website is they only cover one of the two technologies that they're involved with. I thought for sure there'd be another website, but I have not been able to locate it. But we've got information. Don't worry about that. So let's focus in on what this website does share. They tell us here that NeuroOne's patented technologies have the potential to disrupt the medical device industry, particularly in the field of neurology. The company's 1RF ablation system, the one they don't talk about on this website, and the Evo depth electrode have the potential to revolutionize the way brain tumors and seizures are treated. But they're also working with cognitive disorders, Parkinson's disease, chronic pain. Truth is, they don't know how many conditions this new technology could help. Now, what is the EVO? Well, the EVO reads and records brain activity, the signals that come out of the brain. Now, the way we used to do this is just to paste electrodes to the outside of your head, and we would get them as they came through the skull. Well, we don't do that anymore. Now we go into the brain, minimally evasive. What they actually do is they drill a hole, a small hole in the skull, and they put in a stylet, a tiny pipe. And through that pipe, 
they feed a wire down to the actual part of the brain that they want to make a connection with so that the signals come out into this electrode. It's a real thin plastic strip, seven times thinner than anything that's ever been created, and it will record for 30 days. Now they can use this technology to get that information and learn things, but they can also stimulate the brain with it. Now this works hand in hand with the other technology, the 1RF ablation. Now ablation means to destroy. It means to burn, cauterize, get rid of. What they're doing is they're doing ablation in the brain and on the nervous system. Let's say for example you've got chronic pain in the leg. Well they can actually figure out from the brain which one of the nerves down there is bringing that signal to the brain and then they ablate part of the nerve. They cut a piece out so they break the connection between the pain and the brain. Well they also work in the brain with ablation but you got to be real careful because they're burning part of the brain like a tumor or something or too much heat and you can cook good parts of the brain. So they've got a way to control that temperature. It is a technology that everybody is looking for. Now here recently the company's been making a lot of progress on both fronts with both technologies. The Evo they just had their first clinical case at the Mayo Clinic and their first robotic neurosurgery. Both went great. They tell us here they recently received the FDA clearance for the Evo. This is a major milestone for the company. And another milestone that is just around the corner, they have just submitted the 510 for the 1RF with the FDA. So we're expecting that to be approved real quick here. Now something I want to touch on to, a lot of people are under the impression that this company is in competition with Elon Musk. Why would they think that? Well Elon Musk has been working on his own project called the Neuralink. This is a brain chip. It's literally a chip that goes into your brain. What I've gathered is he wants to help people who are paralyzed, but not help them to move their own bodies, help them to move things using 5G so they can use electronic equipment. He's not trying to cure anybody. This company is trying to cure people. The other thing I want to show you is that this company is attractive to other companies. There's a lot of big companies out there who would love to swallow this company up. Here are 10 of the largest companies and just last year they did $188 billion worth of business altogether. They tell us that the company's disruptive technologies and platform potential make the company an attractive partner for larger medical device companies looking to expand their product offerings in the neurology space. However, they're already working with a big company. They're spread out in lots of pieces of news. Zimmer Biomet, one of the largest medical device companies in the world, has rights of first negotiation with NeuroOne. This partnership provides NeuroOne with the resources and expertise of a well-established company to help bring its products to market and expand its reach. So they've already got the support of Zimmer Biomet and they get first dibs on anything that this company is going to sell. So they have a lot going on for them right now, a lot of potential, very innovative, very needful. Let's go check out that stock information now. And to get this information, we're going to be using the otcmarkets.com website. Of course, this is where I do my research. So NeuroOne's relative volume today, she's normally doing about 81,000 shares a day. That's under the radar. Today she dropped just over 77,000 shares. Share structure for the company is pretty decent. We've got 17.5 million outstanding. If that's all they told us, that's all we need to know. Anything under 20 million, I'm really happy with. Well, they do suggest that the float could be 14.2 million. Maybe that's right, maybe it's not. In either case, it's a decent float. Looking at the financials for the company, well, they have been making money over the last three years, though it's a little chaotic. Now, I don't know why they dropped in revenues in 2021 or was running at a loss. Jump into the financial for that period, I'm sure they have a reason for it. But the year before and the year after look really decent. Now remember, we got to throw three zeros behind any of the numbers here. So they are making millions of dollars every year. Jumping down to the quarterly, that's a little chaotic too. They started to build up some steam here, got up to $2 million in September of 2022. 
dropped down to 1.5 in December and just a half a million here in the most recent one, March. Now, honestly, I don't know where their revenue streams are coming from. I have not done a deep dive. And if you want to know that, the best place to find it, that's right. Just go to their most recent financial. This one came out May 12th, their quarterly report. You'll get everything in there. And if you want to know why they had such a bad year in 2021, go check out that one. Now, we do have a whole lot of Form 4s here. Form 4s are filed whenever the insiders acquire or dispose of shares of the company stock. Now, we're always looking for it to be bought or sold. Well, in this case, they all sold a little bit. I mean, just a little bit, a couple hundred shares of that. So they got a little money, but the code, I don't understand the code. It's an F. So it's got something else to do with something, but they're very small amounts, so I'm really not concerned about them. However, the other side of the coin of this company is the news. Let's check that out. Oh, the company's got a lot of news. Not just headlines, what they write. They put a lot of information in their press releases. Now, all this news up at the top, it's outdated. It starts at 2021 and gets older. However, we do have current news down at the bottom. Now, this goes back to April, April 6th. And this is a really interesting news press. It wasn't even put out by the company themselves, but it is about the company. Minimally invasive surgery. The company's successful animal trial could help eliminate the need for an incision in patients with back pain. They tell us here that Neuro One has been committed to providing minimally invasive and high definition solutions that may improve patient outcomes and reduce costs for the EEG and brain stimulation as well as the ablation solutions. For patients who have epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, dystonia, essential tremors, chronic back pain due to failed back surgeries and other related neurological disorders. The company says it is addressing current treatment challenges where electrodes are used to detect, record, and monitor neurological activity and then stimulate or ablate tissue to regulate brain activity. NeuroOne believes its new radio frequency ablation system may offer detection, recording, and treatment in procedures leading to higher patient satisfaction, lower patient risk, lower cost, and improved accuracy. Now they tell us down here what they've been doing. The company recently completed the initial animal implant of its novel thin film paddle lead for spinal cord stimulation and is developing a through a needle paddle lead placement system, which could eliminate the need for an incision in the patient's back. The devices provide increased coverage with less power allowing doctors to treat broader areas with significantly less energy than smaller devices currently are using. This could be a game changer for medical practitioners. Dave Rossa, the CEO of NeuroOne, says, We believe our technology can fill a market need for improved patient outcomes due in part to its potential ability to place a paddle device through a needle, provide a larger stimulation surface area of the spinal cord, better comfortability with the tissue and an improved battery life, reducing the frequency of the patient's need to recharge or replace the battery. And they mentioned down here, they are getting the marketing and distributing partnership with Zimmer Biomet in action right now. The anticipated launch of the Evo cortical for the back is for Q1 2023, and that is a $100 million market. So they've got one for the brain, they've got one for the nervous system, they've got one for the back. They're doing all sorts of things, and pain is a crucial thing we all want to fix. I think this could be big. Take a look at that next piece of news. This came out May 2nd. Neural One announces U.S. commercial launch of Evo, EEG electrodes. Now this news press focuses right on in on that partnership they've got with Zimmer Biomets. May 2nd, the company announces their commercial launch of Evo SEEG electrode product line in the United States. So they've launched it already just here recently. Zimmer Biomed holds exclusive worldwide distribution rights to Neural One's Evo cortical and SEEG product lines. The EVO product line is expected to utilize Zimmer Biomet's Rosa One Brain, a robotic platform that assists surgeons in planning and performing complex, minimally invasive neurosurgical procedures. The CEO of Neuro One, Dave Rosa, 
stated, The commercial launch of the Evo SEEG platform represents one of the most impactful milestones in our company's history. Paired with Zimmer Biomet's Rosa One Brain robotic platform and their broad distribution network, we believe the company is well positioned in the market. Given the synergies that exist between our novel thin film electroid platform and Zimmer Biomet's robotic platform, and most importantly, this new technology potentially provides Neural One with a steady and predictable new revenue stream. We expect to complete our initial case within the next 30 days, so that should be right now as well. Neural One provides a full line of electrode technology to address an estimated U.S. market of $100 million for patients requiring diagnostic brain mapping procedures. And then we've got those two pieces of news that I told you about already, that they had their first clinical case in the Mayo Clinic and they had their first robotic neurosurgery. And the last piece of news, this came out June 12th. They tell us here the company today submitted their 510K application to the US FDA for its 1RF ablation system. This technology uses the already implanted SEEG electrodes to record brain activity and allow for ablation of nervous tissue when connected to proprietary radio frequency generator. If cleared by the FDA, NeuroOne's 1RF 510K submission represents the first step in bringing to market an innovative RF ablation system in the field of neurology and neurosurgery. First mover advantage. You've got to love those. As the company's first therapeutic device, 1RF is a combination system that includes both diagnostic and therapeutic capabilities. The system utilizes a customized RF generator with real-time temperature monitoring capabilities, allowing clinicians to have greater control over temperature management during the ablation. This is a monumental day for NeuroOne as it represents the first known FDA 510K submission of an SEEG electrode intended to record brain activity and also be used as an RF probe to ablate nervous tissue. Loving these first, first, first. Neural One anticipates receiving initial feedback from the FDA no later than August 7th, 2023. Folks, we're not far from that. One month. You've got yourself a little window there. If this gets passed, we're expecting a surge. But more than that, the company is going to be out there with these new products, with what everybody wants. Hospitals are always looking for innovative ways to save money, uh, make things safer, easier all the time. And this company's got something very interesting going here. All right, let's go take a look at that chart. Like I said, she's not hot, but she is warm, and I'm liking where she's pointing. Let's take a look at NMTC using TOS. That is Think or Swim. This is the free trading platform I got when I signed up with TD Ameritrade. And that was free too. So we are looking at Neuro One Medical, ticker NMTC, one year, one day chart. Our 52 week high in September was $2.95 and in November we had our 52 week low of 80 cents. Had lots of volatility through here, but she has fallen down to this very strong support which started a year ago. This is where we were one year ago, had a big bounce and now we're right back to it and she is bouncing and the oscillators are showing inclinations that she wants to change her trend. She was down for months and right now it is showing strength. I'm not saying it's a lot, but it is showing inclination. Let's take a look at that six month, four hour view. So she had this big rocky climb and fall and then she had volatility all over the 200 and she fell down to that support. Now she has bounced off of that in B line to the 50, came down, bounced off for 20 and put herself right back up there. There's our break and test and there's our support. She looks like she wants to climb. And to be honest, the oscillators look a lot better on a four hour chart than the one day. All of them are showing strength now. 20 day, one hour view. All right, we've got a high back here of $1.42 when she broke the 200 and though it doesn't look steep, she couldn't hold her footing. She came down and slipped right down to this strong support where she has bounced, beeline to that 200-day SMA, fell back onto the 20, 
Now that's important. She did not come all the way down to the 50, just the 20. That tells me she wants to climb and she's put herself right up underneath that 200. Now what we're waiting for is that 50 to cross that 200 day SMA. That will be a golden cross when it does. That is one of the strongest technicals on the charts. So much so, people actually search for it in their scans, and they'll play that chart regardless of what they know about the company. So this is looking good. Oscillators, well, that's a bit mixed up. Our PPO, our percentage price oscillator, is showing strength, but our MACD is showing weakness, and they're akin to each other, and our RSI is falling right now. Very interesting. Five day, five minute chart. Now that one is showing strength. We've got a low bubble of a dollar here bouncing off of that strong support, working away over that 50 and then zooming to the 200, testing it and rocketing off. She is now on her 50 day SMA, forget about that 200. And she needs to get up on top of her 200 hull. Now we don't talk about this much, but the 200 hull is like the 200 day SMA. 200 days of prices average together, and then you give more credence to current prices. Once she gets up on top of there, she'll probably get another boost of strength. Our oscillators, they're a bit planted right now. She's been going sideways for a while, but look, our 200 day SMA is starting to turn right now. That is a trend change. That's what you need. So I'm not expecting this to run tomorrow or next week, but she could pop easily when that news comes out about the FDA accepting the 1RF device. That would be hot. But honestly, I'm looking for this company's growth down the road. I think they're going to be doing very well. But don't take my word for it. Do some more due diligence. You know I didn't cover everything. NMTC, folks. I do like her. I like device companies. Do some more research. You'll like it too. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.